Hello, Glenn here from Digital Photography Courses and uh, welcome to this next session looking at the Move Shoot Move Rotator and the various accessories. So in this uh, session we're going to be having a look at the uh, phone holder from uh, MSN, the Move Shoot Move phone holder and uh, here we go, nice piece of kit. So uh, if we start at the bottom we've got a Arca Swiss mounting plate uh, with a couple of holes in there, screw threads, a 3 8 and a quarter inch and also slots on the side. Um, we've got another quarter inch thread here. That is quite useful and if you say till the end of the video I'll give you a nice little sort of hint and tip that you could use that for. And uh, then at the top here what we have is a ball head allowing us to twist and move this about and then two screws that change the width to match your phone. Now Unfortunately, this does not come with any instructions and uh, Alex McGregor did an excellent video showing you how to use this and did some photographs um, and he actually had it mounted in this orientation here and um, to do so you can use that screw there, the one that came uh, with your MSN, you've probably got to spare one of those uh, and basically what you can do is you can screw that into the 3.8 thread and then you can screw that into the base of the move should move. Uh, now, what Alex actually did was he bought a thumb screw from a hardware store, something like this, and threaded that through there. Um, and we're gonna look at that method a little bit later on because the first thing I kind of noticed with this is it doesn't actually come with any fittings. And that made me wonder if um, it was actually meant to go in that orientation. And what I did notice is, if I just take the move shoot move off, pop that to one side, if you've got the wedge, or even if you've got a tripod with, um, you know, a, an Arca Swiss plate, or any other tripod for that matter, you can either, put it the right way around, just slide that straight in there and lock it in place, or if necessary, if you've got an ordinary, a different tripod, you could use the thread on top of the hot shoe, on top of the mounting shoe, should I say, into one of those holes, and obviously you would just mount it on uh, in the way that you would mount anything else. And I suspect, if you kind of do it this way, then what you can actually do is basically you get your rig set up and aligned using the phone, then you remove this and then pop the move shoot move into place. And um, so, Let's go and have a look at how we would use that. So using the mobile phone, now what I suggest you do is try and get as much as you can um, aligned prior to starting. So you want to get your tripod facing as far as best north as you can and get your altitude as close as you can. So um, on the back of the scale here, we've got, I'm not going to turn it around, but there's a, um, on the wedge, there is actually a scale and in our location we're at 52 degrees so I've set my uh, elevation to 52 degrees and I've already got my uh, tripod uh, what I basically do is try and choose a tripod leg and I've got that pointing uh, north and to find that all I simply did was using the compass app on the phone and there's lots of compass apps you can use uh, on Android or on um, Apple, so go to Compass app, there we go, something like this, this is just called Compass, pop that on the top, lock it into place, and then just basically rotate the tripod um, until you are pointing north, right about there, okay. Um, now when you are wanting to use this to align to uh, Polaris, so we're in the Northern Hemisphere, so we're aligning to Polaris, then what we want to do is we want to tilt it down. Now, here's the important thing. The phone needs to be at the same orientation as your move, shoot, move would be. So if I just take this off for one second and show you what I mean by that, you can see here that my move, shoot, move is pointing in that direction. So there's my ball head. If you take a line through here, this is going up to uh, Polaris, the North Celestial Pole. Obviously, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, the South Celestial Pole. So that's my line. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that the phone is on that same plane. Okay. 
So take that off, put the phone back on, and the app I'm going to use to align with is actually, a lot of people have already got this, if you haven't got this, I recommend you get it, is we're actually going to use photo pools. Now, there are other apps out there that you can use. You could use Stellarium. Um, there's another one called Sky I, S K I, um, that you could use. But I'm going to use Photo Pills. And in Photo Pills, what we want to use is the Spot Star. There we go. The Spot Star um, sort of app in, within there. And then we go to the AR function. And what will happen now is you'll get a crosshair. And basically what you need to do is you need to place that crosshair on Polaris. So as you point up, you'll actually find the north or south celestial pole. So, oh, by the way, little tip here. Just be careful when you mount this. Uh, my on off switch is just here. Um, and the first time I used it, I actually press that and switch the phone off. So just be careful with that one. So what we want to do is avoiding any switches, get the phone in the holder. Nice and snug. And then tilt the phone down. And now the important thing here is to make sure that you are parallel with this line. This is a right angle. So you've got to make sure that you're parallel with this line. If you're not parallel, then that's not really going to work brilliantly. And also make sure that it's all square. Um, I did have a comment once about does everything need to be level and square when you're setting up the MSN? And technically the answer to that is probably no, but just force of habit. Um, and I do a lot of panoramas and I just find that if you just take care at every stage, then you tend to get better results throughout the day. So I have actually got my tripod level. Okay, so now what we need to do is, as I say, I'm using the wedge, so I've got the benefit of fine adjustment, so I can loosen my wedge off, and making sure the phone is nice and snug in the holder, come down here, and in fact, even just using that alignment, uh, so I've made sure the camera's to north, and I've made sure I'm at 52 degrees, I'm actually really, really close. Um, I'm probably only very slightly off. So I need to move slightly that away. There we go. And I need to move that away. And there you go. So that took no time at all. Um, so now we're aligned. All we need to do is remove the bracket and the phone. We can take the phone off now, unless you feel you might want to recheck it later. Pop the move shoot move back on. There we go. Make sure everything is locked off nice and tight. Mount the camera in the normal way. So this is a uh, D750 uh, with a 50 millimeter lens on. Now, I actually tried this last night and went out before it got dark, so just like now in the daytime, actually set this up, then waited till it was dark, which here in the UK now is not till about 11 o'clock at night. Um, so the more you can get done beforehand, then the better things are because you've got more photography time. And we pop that into space now and obviously align this to our target, wherever that may be and away we go. So guys, that is how to use the phone mount to align. And what we'll do next is we'll take a look at using different methods uh, where you can actually keep it attached for the whole time in case you need to sort of check your settings a little bit later on. And we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, so in the previous section we looked at mounting this um, in, in the shoe and then replacing it. And so what we're going to do now is actually look at mounting this and leaving it in situ so that you can kind of check your settings later on. So what we've done is we've just screwed in the 3 8 inch bush here. Uh, as I say, you could use other methods if you want to, um, or you, um, you could use your adapter. Uh, you've got the little quarter inch adapter. 
um, if you remember, and you could use that in this place instead of you want to. But I'm just going to use this brass sort of bush here. And all we need to do now is we need to screw this into the base. And you might find that it, it rotates over very slightly. It's not really a massive problem. Um, so, and you could sort of soon fix that if you needed to. Um, so, as long as you can still have some flexibility here, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, if, you, if you want to just bring that back, that's not a problem. There we go. So we've got that nice and level. Now, again, what we need to do is just make sure that our phone is in the holder. So we can still use the same sort of setup routine. We can use our compass, pop the phone in like this. There you go. And then we can move things around. Now, I did have people, obviously a question that people are going to ask here is, doesn't all this metal and such like affect the compass? Yes, it probably does to a slight extent, but that said, I managed to line perfectly well uh, and it worked okay. So, um, you know, try it for yourself. If you're not sure, what I suggest you do is just get your compass app and just kind of move well away and then use your compass app to just kind of check that you are in the right ballpark. Okay, that which we are. Okay. So we've got it aligned. Obviously that's to magnetic north, in my case. And now what we need to do is go to photo pills, go to spot stars, night AR, tilt this down. And again, the important thing here is to ensure that you are totally aligned with these points here. Now, if you want to, um, Grab yourself a tape measure or something that is 12 centimeters from there and exactly 12 centimeters from there. So that is nicely aligned. Uh, obviously you've also got here, so you could do top and bottom if you want to, but just kind of doing that by eyeball, it works quite well. Now, this is the method that Alex McGregor used and it works really well. Um, and as Alex pointed out, if you kind of drop it to the bottom of this ball head groove that does tend to be absolutely accurate and certainly in my case that appears to be the same so we'll do that and now of course we would do exactly the same thing get down below here go and find polaris and you would again move your um sort of wedge or whatever it is to align um onto polaris okay so that's the method now I think this is probably one of the easier methods. The only downside I do have with this is it's all very low. We're not too bad here. We've got quite a reasonable height tripod, but um, if you're out, it does mean getting down. If you've got a low tripod or you're lower down for any reason, that is gonna make life um, perhaps a little bit uncomfortable, but I say it does work quite nicely. So that's method number two. And what I'll do next is I'll give you a method whereby we can actually have this mounted at the side to give us a little bit of sort of extra flexibility. And the next method is also useful if, like me, you prefer to mount your MSN using the larger thread at the base just here. So we'll have a look at that next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're having a change of direction and we're going to look at putting the phone holder to the side rather than the base. So it just gives you a little bit of extra height there. Um, and to, for this, we're going to be using the uh, the Z bracket. In fact, this is the V bracket, uh, the Allium Wallace MSN uh, V bracket. Uh, this is actually a slightly later version. I don't know if they're going to do this with all of them, but you might notice now we've got a little scale here and um, that was sort of something I suggested a while back so that you could use it as an old as base. So uh, it's pleased to see that they've kind of taken that on board. Hopefully that will be coming out on future ones as well. So what we want to do is get this nice and straight. And we're going to connect. Uh, I've left the stud, the same using the same stud that we used at the base here. And I've removed the 3 8 to quarter inch adapter on the back of that. So making sure that this is locked off. We can rotate this, there we go. And now we need to screw this onto 
this part into the quarter inch thread on the MSN. There we go. Now you want to make sure that you keep this as far away as possible. So move the sort of the slot right to the very end. And also make sure that it is nice and parallel so that we've got a good alignment, which we have. Now, if this, when this is screwed in, if it's not, you know, if it's a bit skew with, not a problem, we can just undo the rotational screw here and we can move that around to wherever we need to move it. Okay, so everything's nicely tightened off. Good. And so the next thing we would do is just like before, we'd use our compass app, pop that in there and make sure that we were aligned and everything is squared up. Now I know I'm squared up from previously, so uh, there we go. So make sure everything's squared up and obviously you would move it uh, left and right a bit. And if there's any doubt, obviously there is always a concern that all this metal might sort of change things. So it is a good idea to sort of check. But don't forget, this is kind of just to get you into the ballpark because we're going to be using um, the sort of find it through the star thing later. Good, so the next thing we need to do is start getting this parallel. And again, you just want to make sure that everything, this line here is parallel with your MSN. And now we can go back to photo pills. So we're in photo pills, we've, so we're in photo pills, we've got to the spot star, we go to the night AR function, and yeah, we do need to just kind of adjust. Obviously, I've been moving things around a little bit, and so we just need to fine tune. And there we go, we are on Polaris. Now, I actually um, used this method uh, last night and actually went out and used this exact same setup. And when Polaris sort of did that in the daytime, when Polaris came out and I checked it, and I was within probably a one or two degrees, which was pretty close. And I did a test, some test exposures using the uh, D750 with a 50 millimeter lens on there. And I was easily able to get 90 second. And even at two minutes, I was, they were slightly extra shaped stars, but they were still pretty good, you know. Um, certainly with a wide angle lens, like I normally use a 20, uh, it would have done the job a treat. So that is using the um, Allen Wallace MSN uh, V bracket and what we'll do next is we'll have a look at using the Z bracket. Okay so now we're going to be having a look at the Z bracket so this is the Allen Wallace MSN Z bracket and um, now this one is a slightly different sort of configuration uh, for this so what we'll do first of all is we'll just mount this on the base just like we did the previous one so we'll just flatten it out and right, screw this on and again what you want to do is kind of make sure that you've got plenty of leeway and move it right to the end and make sure that it is perfectly parallel which it is now if you remember previously um, when we were using the V bracket we had the sort of turntable here but the, you'll notice that now the turntable is on this bit. So all you need to do is fold over the, the sort of the, the Z bracket back on itself and then you can mount it in exactly the same way. So you can mount it this way. But you do have an extra option um, with this bracket. If you want to, you can raise it up like this and you can mount it this way so that it's further away um, from the move shoot move if we just lock that off so you've got a choice with this one you can actually mount it in two different ways let's just rotate this guy around there we go and there we go the phone holder. obviously with all of these you need to make sure that everything particularly your phone is parallel with the move shoot move so this just kind of puts it a little bit further over to the side um, and just kind of keeps it away from there. The useful thing about this is it does actually give you more access to the controls on the move, shoot, move. So let's pop on the phone. Again, just make sure everything is nice and snug. 
and just as before make sure everything is lined up nicely everything's parallel which it is um, you can now do your sort of north rotation or uh, whatever you wanted to do there and then we loosen off tilt it down the ball head and what you ah, now what I recommend you do here is you'll probably if you use this method you'll find that this ball head here will not tilt down so what you have to do just a little bit of lateral thinking is you undo the rotational slide here and rotate it this way and again obviously what you've got to do is make sure that this is absolutely parallel with this lock that off lock that off and again you can align uh, using whatever it is app you want to use uh, say I use photo pills which does the job very nicely so there you go guys that is sort of various different ways of um, aligning your phone mount and mounting your phone mount uh, now one thing I haven't mentioned is once you've got this guy you can actually mount the phone mount in the hot shoe in your well not your hot shoe sorry your tripod shoe and using sort of Stellarium or something like that actually now use this to point up at your target and go and sort that out as well so let me just show you that Okay, so uh, as promised guys, a couple of sort of bonus tips for you. So um, as you can see, I've taken the uh, phone holder off here now, so we can pack this away. Now you don't need to unscrew it. What we can just do is we can just fold this down on itself and put that out of the way. And the little tip I have for you is, I mentioned about this hole at about this quarter inch thread. Now what you can do is if you can grab yourself a suitable long screw that will fit it, is you can screw that into that hole and then using a nut, this is actually one of the adapters that I, you know, from the kit, uh, using the nut there, you can put that into place. And what it does is it now lies flush with the level of the mount. And the benefit of that is when you are trying to align your phone, dead easy, because it just touches that, or the screw, whatever. Now you can see I've actually used a couple of washers in there just to kind of give me exactly the right height, but that's totally powerful um, or level and uh, really saves you a bit of time when you're kind of setting uh, things up. Good, now the other little tip for you, for the little tips, is we can actually use this phone holder for target finding. So obviously Orion season's kind of over now, but we could choose a target. We could use Stellarium or our favorite sort of star finding app. Um, there's Easy Eyes, quite a good one. Do a search, find whatever it is we're looking for. Um, and obviously some sort of deep sky objects are quite difficult to see. So being able to kind of get there um, and find them using your phone is quite helpful. So we, all I've done here is I've mounted the phone onto a uh, tripod head or a tripod plate and we pop that into the top and then using, obviously this now represents the camera, we can now move this around to wherever our target is, lock everything off, remove the phone holder place the camera in position, and there we go, straight away, we're looking at the right portion of the sky. So really useful for finding objects and everything. So hopefully guys, you found that really quite helpful. Um, the, the same, if you've got the bracket, then absolutely brilliant. If you haven't got the Z or the bracket, there's nothing to stop you from using your L bracket. If you've got an L bracket, it'll do the same sort of job. So folks, I hope you found that uh, useful and uh, if you did, uh, then please, you know, go and click us a like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'll include a link down at the bottom in the description for Alex's video on uh, mounting uh, the phone holder. And um, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you again soon. All the best. Bye.